Okay. Um, today we're going to be working on long-term food storage. So the things that you're going to need are um, buckets, food grade containers. Um, I'm going to be filling a six gallon bucket, but there's also five gallon buckets. And uh, because it's long-term food storage, I'm going to be using one of these type of lids that, um, that just has a pull tab, kind of like a milk carton. But um, if you're going to want to rotate your food, you can use a gamma seal lid and that way you can just um, reseal it and um, use the food inside and not have to uh, worry about buying a new lid for it. But you're also going to need mylar bags or um, these food storage bags. Mylar is just like a, um, a brand name like Clorox is or bleach or something. It's basically just a bendable number 10 can. It's plastic with aluminum foil um, attached to the other side. So yeah, it just protects your food. Um, you're also going to need oxygen absorbers and um, oxygen absorbers just make sure that your food um, doesn't deteriorate because of the oxygen that's trapped inside once the bag is sealed. So um, they're, I, I explained this I think on the post, but um, they're measured in cc, cubic centimeters, and so it just, if it says like 200 cc, that just means um, that this packet can absorb 200 um, cubic centimeters of oxygen once um, once it's inside the packet. So you have to know how much food you're going to put into the bag to know how much, how many oxygen absorbers you're going to put into the bag. So um, I explained like with a formula on the blog how to know how many to put in each bag. Um, to seal the mylar bags you're going to need either a uh, a straightener, like a hair straightener, or um, and a clothes iron with um, a wide um, handled tool. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, we just open up the bag and put it inside the bucket. And then you take your bowl of food. I'm doing pinto beans for one of my legumes. And um, I don't know why this process was so intimidating to me, or I don't know why it is intimidating to some people. Who am I scissors? Um, I guess maybe because you don't want to like ruin the food or waste food or products. But it's really not that hard. Like I just looked up a couple of um, videos online, and then, I don't know, I did a lot of buckets <laughs> already today, but, um, okay, you gotta make sure that you don't spill any of the food into the bucket on the outside of the bag, like I just did, um, because then, um, that can contaminate the, the bucket, so you have to make sure that your is right into the bag. And um, a six gallon or five gallon buckets can hold anywhere from 35 to like 50 pounds of dried, dried food. So you just have to kind of try it out and see. Like our buckets, um, and that's a standard size. Six gallons or five gallons is a standard size. But um, I did wheat and rice today because I had to do I had to do 10 buckets because the packet of oxygen absorbers that I have have 10 in it and you can't just leave the packet open once you open it and I don't have a food saver machine to reseal the, um, the bag and it doesn't work very well anyway I've read but um, so I have to use all 10 seals all 10 oxygen absorbers once I open the bag so I had to get all of my all of my bags ready and I'll show you in just a second but I had to get everything ready before I open the oxygen absorber packet so now I've added three of my bags of pinto beans you kind of have to shake the bag a little bit so that it gets them into all the cracks and forms into the shape of the bucket and we'll just add our last one in. 
But anyway, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. I think food storage is just like that. Like you think it's just this this time consuming terrible thing and really I don't know. I think it's kind of fun, but maybe I'm just a huge dork. So and we got these these beans um, from Costco because they turned out to be just a tiny bit cheaper than the. Ooh, hopefully this works. So this was um, 40 pounds of pinto beans, and like I said, I mean this is like the top of the bucket. You have to leave about an inch with the gamma seals because it goes down into the bucket. You have to leave like two inches of head of headroom um, on the top. But with the pull tab kind, um, you can see it's it's going to be flush with the top of the bucket. So you can just leave like, I don't know, an inch or half an inch or so. So with the rice, I was able to put a little more than 45 pounds in each um, in each bucket, but I, I mean, 40 pounds of pinto beans is, is it. So, uh, the next thing you do, and the other thing is Kent, um, bought these mylar bags, and he got the kinds that you can reseal. So, once, um, once we have to open these up, we can, um, seal them to make sure that no pests get inside and they stay nice and dry. So I'm still going to seal them since we're hoping that these stay good for 30 years if we can get the right um, temperature um, and storage conditions in. Anyway, so you take your um, your broad handled tool and you put it underneath the lip of the, the bag. Now I have to put my seal above this Ziploc part. Um, and I'm gonna leave a little bit open so that I can put my oxygen absorber in. This is the last bucket of the tin that I have to do. So I just leave that open and you kinda have to hold it. It's a tiny bit awkward, but I don't know. You get a feel for it. And then you just, I don't know, you just kinda put it on. I was worried about like, oh, is my iron gonna get ruined? But I don't know. I don't think it's getting ruined. I still have ironing to do tonight. So. Oh, I guess <laughs> Natalie wants to be with me. So, anyway, that's the, um, that's it. And so I'll put the oxygen absorbers in a minute. Hi, girlfriend, do you want to help me? I'm doing food storage. Come here. Come here. We can help. No, don't move the camera. Come here. Here, do you want to help me put the oxygen absorbers in? I want to watch a movie. Oh, you just want to watch the movie? Okay. Well, you can help me be in the movie if you want. Okay, we're going to open it up. Uh, <laughs> okay, do you want to help? Yeah. Okay, so we have, to, we have to cut this. You ready? I want to show. You want to show? Okay. Here, let's show everyone the ones we already did earlier. Come here. Bring it over here. <laughs> Don't touch the iron. It's very hot. Okay. See, these are the, all the other bags that we already did. And I labeled each one. Let's see if we can get close enough. You can see, see rice, February 2011, or red wheat, February 2011. Sorry the lighting is so bad in our garage. Anyway, and I did all of them so that there's a little part right here so we can put the oxygen absorber in. This video is so long, it's never going to load. Okay, let's, let's stop it.